Welcome everybody. Glad to be back with you. Today I want to show you, um, there's probably going to be two parts to this video. We're going to do some painting with paper. But the things you're going to need for this are some various colors of tissue paper. I have this dirty Tupperware thing that I put it in. And you're going to need a black crayon and a white crayon. And some bottle to spray water. This is a hair product bottle that's empty and I really like to reuse things so I put water in it. Okay so the first thing that we're going to do is take a crayon. This is going to be kind of like I don't really know how it's going to end up but like a, a portrait sort of thing. A fun funky portrait. Um, the first thing we're going to do is take our black and let's do a line and you can do this with you can do the paper first and then do um, the drawing or today I'm showing you how to use crayon to do the drawing before you do the painting part but you could actually just do the the second step and then draw on top of it with a sharpie if you wanted to but this is kind of fun. First I'm taking my black and I'm pushing really hard. I'm making like a little border around. And I might do something funky like... Because this is going to be pretty playful. Maybe make like a little dash around the outside. Making sure that I'm pressing really hard. And this is watercolor paper by the way. You could use paper from the printer. But it doesn't really hold up with the amount of water we're going to put on it. So I do suggest for this project using watercolor paper. And I believe, I'm trying to remember what pound, I really don't know the poundage of this because I got it in a big bulk stack and I don't have the wrapper anymore. Okay, so I made like a little fun border and then I'm gonna go in here and I'm gonna actually on the outside, I'm gonna put, put some white for polka dots. And you know, you could just draw with these crayons on there if you wanted. I may not like these polka dots. I might have shit it on lines, but I'm just showing you the technique right now. You press really hard. And if you, you know, don't like that you can't see, some <laughs> famous Abby broke the crayon. If you don't like that you can't see, you could use a light color like a light pale green or a yellow, but I kind of like the white. Um, the look of the white. So we're just going around. And this is a particular style that I'm going to do, but if I was just doing an abstract, I could scribble all over it and, or draw patterns with the wax crayon. And it'll have sort of a resist effect. Although we're not using paint, we're actually going to be using paper, uh, the tissue paper, to paint the paper. So it's kind of fun. We did something, a variation of this in my classroom with some of my, some of my classes did it. Not all my classes, but it's really fun. It's a cool technique to expand upon. So I hope you'll see this video and then maybe try some different things. It's really fun and really quick and great for kids. This is why I'm doing it because it's really good for kids. Okay, I'm knocking off the excess crumbs. Now the next step that we have to do is we have to uh, spray our paper like a lot like we want it to be super de duper wet so we are going to spray this paper really 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 wet and we want it wet so make sure your surface around where you're spraying is not going to get harmed you want don't want to do this on a wood wooden table so my whole area is completely wet my paper is happy soaking that up and now what we're going to do is we're going to take our pieces of tissue and we're just going to put them on here. And I'm doing two techniques at the same time to show you, okay? Because I'm going to actually do a second video of this showing you um, what happens, what how you can do the second version. So here I'm showing you on the outside the crayon resist, which you can totally do. You could even draw your portrait in crayon, but this in this case, I'm gonna just use um, the border to show you that, and then I'm gonna show you how to do 
the portrait. As you see, our paper is leaching. This tissue paper is turning into watercolor right before our eyes and it is put, putting its pigmentation into uh, the paper. Now the lighter colors like this pale pink don't always show up and I'm not using black in this piece but you could totally use black. Black is really pretty. I've seen it look really nice. I'm not going to use it for this particular one because of what we're doing but so and you can layer. You don't want to get it too thick and I'm looking at my arrangement a little bit and I'm going off the edge of the paper a little. That's okay too. I like to have lots of color. So I am finding all of the bright colors that make me happy and putting them just everywhere. And some of them I like to overlap and it's kind of cool even though it seems muddy at first. It's pretty neat. So as many colors as you can get. And this is just plain old tissue paper people. And all you've got to do is, pardon me, I forgot to turn my phone off. Let me turn the sound down on that. Sorry, I'm shaking my camera. Okay, so as you can see, I might have moved my camera a little bit there. That's better. Okay, so we're just placing these around randomly. Now you can leave white spaces or you can fill it in. It's really up to you. I am I'm trying to decide if I want to fill in or if I want to leave some white spaces. As you can see, it's already starting to dye the paper underneath. So maybe we will throw in a couple of light pieces and see what happens. But you want to kind of arrange it in a really pleasing way to you. Make sure you really like it. And I'm in this picture, I think I'm going to leave some spaces just to show you how it looks. And I think it'll look kind of cool with our picture that we might do on top of it. All right. I don't know. I can't decide if I want to put some more on the edges. Maybe I might throw in a green. And you can just tear it. You just tear the paper and just stick it places. And if you stick colors near each other that are um, analogous next to each other on the color wheel, it can be kind of fun to see what happens. So like putting, let's see here. I've got some little tiny pieces I thought I might kind of throw in here for interest. Okay, so that's what we're going to do, and then we're going to, uh, I don't know, maybe I might put some more on the, the outskirts over here, just to kind of get those corners the way I want them to be. Because I want the whole piece to have, like, that energy and color. Got a lot of red. Let's try some. Blue there, maybe an overlapping blue there, maybe a green down here. Okay, now you can also really be picky and set them all out in perfect little shapes and all that. I like to be a little bit more random. Now we're going to take our water bottle again and we're going to just really sopping spray. And I just remembered that I did put white polka dots all around the outside, so I probably need to make sure that I pretty much have colors on all the outside edges just for fun. So let's make sure we got mostly colored at the frame. But you know, like if you were just doing this, you just do it, however, it doesn't matter. I just have something in mind, so that's why I'm being a little bit more picky about it because we're sort of mixing up our technique and I have a piece of contact paper over my surface. If I didn't, this would be trouble, trouble. All right, so most of my sides are colored with paper. 
There's not a whole lot of extra space left that hasn't been covered. And what we have to do now is we have to stop this video and let it dry. So I'm gonna come back to you when this is dry and we'll do the second part of this fun line drawing portrait on top of our surface that we created. Okay, so I'm gonna turn this off and you can stop your video and find video number two when I have it loaded. Hope you've enjoyed learning this way of painting with tissue paper and I will see you very shortly in video number two. Thanks for joining me. Don't forget, create every single day.